Hi, Uncle John here. I am working on some scripting today, and I thought that I would go ahead and make a video of it. Um, and what's going to be fun is, I am going to use the script that I am working on to actually make this video after I've finished everything up, uh, just to make sure that I do everything right. Um, if this doesn't work, then there will be a part two about what changes I have to make to it further. So, first thing is, is that the text editor I use is called VIM. Um, it is not a text editor that I lightly recommend. Um, it takes some work to get used to and to get good at. There are other people who will make videos about it. I have been working on Linux systems since late 1999. So I'm kind of used to it. It's very fast for making a lot of quick edits. I do not use it to its full extent, but I am comfortable with it. And it works very, very well. So, um, I am starting from already having a script. And I actually did some work over my lunch break today that I have not completely finished. But I'll go ahead and explain what I'm going with. Okay, so the script takes two arguments, a source path and a video base, which the video base I set when I'm doing my recordings. Um, and I actually record from multiple sources. Um, I've got a recording going of my face cam. I have a recording going of the screen, uh, which I do through HDMI, and I have it mirrored because the television that I'm using kind of looks terrible with text. Um, but the raw HDMI signal is going to be just fine, I'm pretty sure. Um, so the first thing to do is that um, I collect all of the videos based on the base name and um, I parse out a the timestamp which my recording script automatically generates and then for each timestamp I uh, am going through and the webcam I am uh, going to determine the width and height of the video using this media info program uh, which I discovered doing a Google search and I'm setting a raw width and a raw height and then I'm checking the ratio um, of the height to the width and if the ratio is greater than 1.333 which is um, 4 to 3 then we are going to crop the sides off of it the reason for this is that this webcam, which is not the one I'm recording on, but which I originally thought that I would use to do something, uh, oftentimes refuses to work in 640 by 480. And instead of losing my footage, I just want to have it do things um, because this is the one that I have to use when I have my laptop lid closed on the Opop Penguin laptop, uh, which I originally had given to my father, but he gave it back to me. Um, this is what this is the laptop that I generally use for my voiceover and for the face cam, and then I have another laptop that I use for the video game footage, because this laptop is actually very old and only has USB two. Um, ports on it. So this this is to solve an actual definite problem because it usually 
this webcam usually records at 1280 by 720 and I just wanted to bulletproof from that for capturing my face cam so um, and if it is not then we are still going to scale it to 640 by 480 if it's not greater than the 3 to 2 and I don't care as much about being scaled outwards as I do about being scaled inwards so and nearly everything is either 16 by 9 or 3 by 5 so don't care um, then we are going to compress my gameplay footage or in this case whatever the HDMI capture footage is uh, this actually is to create um, a reliable time for it and also uh, I eliminate the original videos after I'm finished uh, because they just take a lot of space. Then we are going to pull the audio stream out of the webcam footage and I do it twice, once as an MP3 and once as an AAC because originally this script just worked with um, an actual audio recording and I changed it and um, so I use the mp3 because it's compressed for comparing times because it's guaranteed to be m more accurate than the AAC file but I actually use the AAC file which is lossless for all of the work so then I create um, a two bars uh, based on these PNG files uh, that I created in the GIMP um, and which if anybody sends me any fan art or any um, advertisements I can replace and I can set these for any batch of um, videos that I'm processing uh, and then um, on every single one of these I have a dash in flag what this does is it prevents me from overwriting the file it prevents FFmpeg from overwriting the file if I've already done it so if I'm working on several videos in a day I can push everything to my processing node uh, and run this on them and then start recording the next video while that's processing which is very nice um, okay so now I determine my video duration which I do based off of the compressed mp4 file um, and I use that to determine the uh, duration for the bars because I have to create video files for those um, and that duration happens for each file um, then we get our voice duration which is based off of that mp3 that I created from the base cam footage and then I determine a lead out and actually this I am going to start modifying a little bit because this is something that I'm gonna have to change for um, this this I'm gonna need to change it for processing videos and I've decided that I no longer want to cut the front off of my audio file and line everything up with the back I actually want to put a splash at the front uh, 
for whichever video is shorter um, and still line up the ends of my videos so Okay, so if the voice duration is longer than the video duration, just cleaning stuff up a little bit. Okay, so wrong pair in there. I did the uh, Okay, and every if has to end with a phi, and so um, if we are, if we have a voice lead, then we need to pad out our video, so um, We'll just go ahead and use that. Let's go ahead and pull from where we created another file earlier. 
That was not the one that I needed. Okay, this is what we need. This is what we need. dot single frame except that this is now our voice lead So, I am not super duper proficient with this software yet, so I frequently Google, and I'm sorry that this is ugly as sin, I just don't want to have um, a browser that has notifications open, so we are working with the eLinks program, which is a text-based web browser. Um, I need to look up the syntax on this. Um, okay, so...
One of the tricks to using Stack Overflow is uh, you actually have to know when not to copy and paste as much as you need to know when to copy and paste. Um, okay, so that three was because they had three parts. We only have two parts, so we fix that. Okay, so for this we are um, we're going to be eliminating our commands that cut the part off of the voiceover. Well, it's going to come later in here. That's from a previous version of this script, and. Um, we are creating this dummy video that we are then copying back to the the uh, real name. We can't do it while we're processing it because the file names have to be different because it doesn't have the ability to keep it all in RAM. Okay, so vidlead equals this. We're going to go ahead and use that same structure, but we're going to change the things up a little bit. So. I'm probably going to go back and rename that file and I'm going to change it in here, but not right now.
Okay. Okay, this section here is to handle something that I'm actually going to need to do a completely separate script for, so I'm going to just ignore this for now. Okay, so this part here, um, we actually don't need to have the lead out anymore. Um, we will go ahead and still increase the volume by two decibels. Um, 
um, just because it makes life easier. And this is also where we change the audio from mono to stereo by having it force it to two audio channels. Okay, now, once we have our voice file, this works because we um, concatenated the sound files, the sound streams along with the uh, video streams when we were concaten concatenating the things. So this is still going to keep everything lined up. So this is Oh, I need to extract game sounds after I do that. So Source path voice Okay, game sounds are extracted here, so this is all still fine. So, because we've renamed, we've uh, overwritten the compressed file earlier in here, so. Filter complex. Okay, that's the combined audio. This here is how I used to do the final um, audio compositing before I um, with the video before I started doing the face cam. This is the new one. Everything's right. So, everything should work fine. And I just have to copy everything over here from where all it is. And I've been using the webcam on this computer to do the recording, but I've actually been controlling everything from a different computer because I didn't want all that polluting the screen. So let's just please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I am going to attempt running this and let's see how it goes so uh, like comment and subscribe and uh, I will let you know if this worked the way that I wanted it to down in the doobly-doo uh, or if my next video is still working on this, then uh, working on debugging it, then that'll also be a pretty good indication. And I do hope that each and every one of you has a wonderful day.